hit on people on Twitter pretty hard, dude. Like I do. Yeah, you, yeah you're maybe. really, really savage. And like your your account got banned for like right, like your first account. That with, like, was like 200k followers or something. Yeah, well, that was like they deserved it. That was Cox. I asked them if they could. Re- I think I asked. Them oh, if they this could, was Cox that happened for. Yeah, I asked them if they. I think I could ask them if they could resolve one of my local nodes to a mm-hmm. physical address so that I sure. could go and bomb yeah. it and force them to fix their network. <laughs> and, I, and I think I got banned for terrorist threats. Whoa. That's uh that's pretty intense. Why did you do that? Because I because the internet in Nebraska is bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. I paid for a one hundred down thirty up line, okay? And I never had stable upstream. Okay? So not only did I do that, do you wanna hear a sad story? Yeah, I do. Okay. I I went and I bought a business line for three hundred dollars a month, okay? And the okay. business line is like fucking fifty down fifteen up or some bullshit, all right? Still couldn't get my three or four up to stream. It wasn't reliable, right? So I got a friend to put my fucking um, to put my account on a ping plotter to plot my okay. ping and the response times throughout the day. Oh and guess what? Every single time the network peak hours happen, my fucking smoke ping looked yeah. fucking shit. It was fucking horrible every single time. So I called them again and again and again. I had the best wired house in the whole fucking neighborhood, okay? Everything in my house, every connection checked 15 times. The problem was that there was congestion on the node because they're cheap as fuck and they don't want to explain exactly right? Yeah. And they would always deny it. It got to the point to where what I did was I drove around the neighborhood. I looked for an unsecured router. I found it. I turned on ICMP requests. I did a little ping upstream to make sure we were on the same node. And I went and I put that dude on the ping plotter. So yeah. now I had me and a neighbor's unsecure router I put a password on a farm afterwards, but we um, we had a we had we both were ping plotted yeah. right on smoke ping, and guess what? The exact same congestion, the exact same times mm-hmm. of day. And they never admitted any wrongdoing, never admitted. I filed filed two FCC complaints. Both of them ended up getting closed after yeah. some bullshit, mm-hmm. right? Um, they released me from my business contract without charging me a cancellation fee, which was nice for them. I bought a different house because that was one of the reasons I had to move. Yeah. I bought a new house and I'm still with Cox because they're the only like real ISP in Omaha and yeah. every now and then I still get the same issues. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, I had a similar story when I was a full-time broadcaster. I was in Lake Tahoe, which is where my other house is. And I uh, had a, a, a node that we thought was congested for the same reasons, but mm-hmm. what was actually happening was that every, there was a water leakage and every time the water would fill up, that it would, it would disrupt the node in some way. And so we, the, the end of this was we're gonna have to pull up the vault. You're like a network guy, right? You understand like, all this stuff. Pull up the vault? Yeah, we had to pull up the vault that the, 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 the node is actually in. Okay, okay. Okay, and, and then we would have to recon- reconstruct it so that it wouldn't get water in it, basically. When you say um, we, you mean the ISP, though. You're not allowed to touch that, are you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, the, so the, the why I'm saying we is because the way that we actually resolved this is I actually knew a guy uh-huh. um, that was the head network technician, and he was a friend of mine that I had done work with in the past because I used to actually run an IT business. Okay. And so I, I would, like, do computer services for people, and I would often interact with this guy. If it wasn't for him, and, like, it took, still, it took a year and a half to solve this problem for him to get the, the it approved to actually clean out the vault we actually had to actually go in and yeah the isp actually finally came i think they actually might have ended up doing it off the off the cuff like because they came like really late at night and like actually lifted it out and we fixed it but that was the only way and like otherwise we would have had those problems forever yeah